Ilse for Rife Magazine and I'm here with Fanny Debonair who is Bristol West's MP. Hello Ilse. As you mentioned like more people moving here and Bristol does have a rising population. Yeah. Unfortunately we also have a huge issue with housing. We do. And that was one of your points when yeah. getting elected. Yeah. Um, so how do you think that we can address that? I mean it's challenging for sure because during the campaign, my campaign to get elected, I was hoping we would have a Labour government mm -hmm. and that we'd be doing things in a very different way and, and of course you know, there was a party political side to me, I'm a Labour MP, what I really wanted was a massive programme of investment in housing um, but what we have got at the moment is a good um, structure in Bristol of having someone, the lead councillor with responsibility for housing, Paul Smith has masses of experience in housing associations and really gets how this sector works. And there's a move um, from the councillors and the mayor to accept ethical lettings charters. Yeah. ...to think about how they might manage their own property differently. But we've really got to crack open the private rented sector because there's a lot of exploitation there. I would like to see us um, having public investment really thought about properly and thinking if we're going to build if we're going to build houses we're going to have to change how we invest great so alongside that um what do you think are the other big issues facing young people in bristol today some young people in bristol have told me very very strongly recently how betrayed and upset they feel about the results of the european union referendum and for me this is one of the big ones because that's about your future it is my job to try and fight for as much of that as possible to be preserved other things that really trouble me um, I have um, a niece that's going to university shortly, I've got several nieces who've been th to university and, and, and she said some of her peers who are just as smart as her have decided not to go to university because they're worried about having that much debt and I cannot blame them, it's mm -hmm. a phenomenal amount of debt and I really feel for a generation that's thinking that their choices are determined by other people and by finance, when really I think your choices should be determined by your potential. That for me, from where I'm sitting, looks like those are the biggest issues, those are what people have told me about, as well as the housing that we've already discussed. But also I think that some of the issues are young people knowing that they've got masses of talent and just wanting to make their way and not have people my age tell them what to do. I won't comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> I have picked up on and I'm very aware of a strong feeling of disenchantment amongst my peers. Yeah. Not about politics, yeah. but particularly about party politics and yeah. Westminster politics, yeah. um, which is in no way linked with their passion or yeah. levels of energy yeah. for change. Yeah. Um, so what advice do you have for young people who want to enact change but don't feel like they have a voice at the moment? My experience is that a lot of young people are finding their own way of expressing what, what it is you want, what you're experiencing. I don't think you should have to change the way you express yourselves for me, your representative. I think I should learn to be open to how you want to express what you think the world should be like. I'm going to be holding a series of open events for young people as well as for um, people in general over the next four years because I want to be accountable to you, but most of all I want to hear from you about what you want. But I'd also say, try, try getting involved, try finding out who your local councillor is. If you are fed up with the condition of your local neighbourhood, it's your local councillor who's responsible. And quite often I find people who are angry with the way politics works, if you say, have you ever written to your local councillor about that, your local MP, have you ever bothered them about it? Then quite often people don't know the mechanisms for how to do that. And I, and I think part of my job over the next few years is also to give more information about how you can be engaged with politics. I think that like, like uh, the arts, uh, politics is best done when it involves as many people's creativity as possible and that politicians should be open to different ways of doing things. I would really like to see the youth parliament having more of a voice in how parliament parliament works or at least having some sort of accountability to it. And most of all, I'd say, God, you know, you, you guys are the future. You will invent your own ways of getting your voices heard. You will find new, te new technologies that open up new possibilities for you that I, I wouldn't even dreamt of when I was your age. And I would say, actually, celebrate that. Thank you. That's reassuring. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's us now. So thank you very much um, for talking to us. It's been really lovely. Thank you so much. This has been really interesting. Thank you very much.